Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome. I am going really far. I got like a three hour drive or something. I'm in LA, Los Angeles, which is over there. So I'm on this side of it, uh, more north of it, northwest. Uh, and guess what? I'm driving all the way to Matter Hackers. What's up everybody? We made it to Matter Hackers. Look at this. And there's people outside hanging out. Freaking sweet. I see Joe telling. I see him. I see that man. Oh, and I see Angus. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna park this beast. Alright, we made it. Let's unpack this beast and have some fun. This so they guy. should have some good... Is this your camera? Yeah. That's my camera and my camera guy. Dude, this is nice. The camera guy, I know. His name is Sean. He's yeah, really cool. I really like Hi. his hat. Yeah. Thank you. Actually. <laughs> I appreciate that. For those of you who don't know, Joe Telling, 3D printing nerd. Every day, my friend. And actually, a lot of these people are all YouTubers. Yep. But I don't know half of you. <laughs> make your, but make you might not know me either, so it's fine. But hey, this guy. How are you? Hello. I have something for you. Oh, really? Somebody must film this, and you would like this too. Everyone's gonna like this. Oh, I saw that video. Does anybody mind holding this? It? You did? You? Yes. Yeah, did. this guy knows what's coming. I okay. don't know what's going on. This is madness. <laughs> I have a madness, sir. Right. Come. You will like this. I must get close. What do you close. want? Do you want me to... I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna give you something. And I have me? I thought you gave it to Angus. I am, but you can have one. Okay. And I have enough for all of you. I'm scared. Hold me. So, <laughs> you love these 3D printing challenges. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I've got the ultimate 3D printing challenge. Bring it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw now, that now, video take a good look about at this. three hours ago. Okay. I was like, oh my god. I was going to show it here first, from nowhere else, but I published it this morning because it's like, there's too many people here. What? It's better for you to see it. So, this isn't my best one, but this one's pretty good. So, okay. so no supports. <laughs> only at only just this little like section, uh, okay. or or you can I support these. Yeah. Because if you don't, this happens. Uh, okay. So also over the bridge. Yeah. So those are 58.25 degree angles. 58. That's, that's stupid. Just stupid. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. Okay, so so this is 50 percent of scale. Okay. This. Oh, Okay, I printed this last night. Someone needs in to, a hurry. Someone needs to give you like, an SLA. Please don't, don't break. Okay, so here's the. Okay, so that is wow. like something like thirty percent of scale. Yeah, it's not twenty five. This, this is a home. It's FDM. Yeah, it's FDM. <laughs> this, is, this is FDM. There's no cheating here. You guys have to FDM this. So yeah. here's the thing. Okay, this is a homemade machine, a Delta. I built it five years ago. It's a raw stock, mm. custom everything. Okay, but there's more. Okay, this oh, yep. is the best, smallest one I've ever made, oh and I printed God. it this morning at four o'clock or something. <laughs> something. Like seriously, <laughs> I mean, I made smaller, but uh -oh. they don't work out. There's very. become the this, one thing. This is like a block of plastic, but that's hilarious. But look at the structure. Yeah, there you go. And I printed one that. I didn't get the chance so, to stop at my house and get it, but it's better than that and that's small. All right, so first question is the Rostock nozzle size? 0.4 millimeters. Full. That, full. No, that's. <laughs> and. For all of these? Yes. And oh here's, my God. here's the special part. <laughs> Not special part, but I'm using a, a premium tungsten nozzle. Ah, uh, okay. And so. So you're getting nice thermal trans. Thermal well, that and what I've learned is that stuff doesn't oh, stick right to it. As bad, at least. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. least this PLA. So if you have, it's, you know, obviously. It took me three months, Angus. This is three months of work. You smashed it though. So, so this is my new 3D printing challenge. I have like 30 of them in my motorcycle that I drove here, so you all can have one. But these are the best. Off the FDM, that's probably one of the best. Off an FDM, thing. isn't that crazy? Yeah. Uh, SLA, sure, but FDM. Yeah. And this is just pure tuning. Trial and error, tuning. So is the trial tungsten nozzle really the the factor that that lets you be I'm able no. to do this, or is it just you dialed in retraction and heat and? It's everything. Okay. Mm. It's because everything. this Delta is five years old. So sure. Because we're just it's running you, a ramp. You under extruded and over pushed, right? It's okay. So I extruded 0.05 millimeter more to try yeah. to get it to like just 
daub plastic in the right spot. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and that's the only reason these turn out as nice as they do. Yeah, because you're getting you're just pushing a single yeah. point. But here's the thing: I spent like a month slicing this thing, right? And crashing slicers nonstop because it's it's stick and balls. So yeah. there are spheres at each vertex right. and sticks in between. Mm -hmm. And I, I made it a solid, but it's like this humongous giant crazy file that you can't work with anything. <laughs> and when you go this small, yeah. when you slice it, if they're triangles, then they stick out of the surface yeah. and they end up being spots. Uh, mm -hmm. so, it falls apart. so if anyone can make this a solid, that'd be great. Yeah. But I, I couldn't, I mean literally. What did you use to model it? Uh, this was made in Mathematica. And I did not make it. And there's, when you watch the video, yeah. which I call, it's funny, I was going to make I'll a video. It I was going to make a video and I was going to call you guys out. I was like, yeah. you guys have to print this. Yeah. 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 Because it's oh, I think crazy. We're gonna, I think we're going to have to. And, and then I well, I'm going to print this 21 inches tall. That's how I'm going to win. Well, <laughs> I, I, not everyone has a G Max Here's the, uh, get one of here's the problem, hangers. though. I've learned that bigger, not better. Yeah. I'll, I'll use my SLA and print it's, it that size. It's not better. Yeah. Yeah. The challenge is on. But no SLA. Yeah, this is driving okay. because, nice, isn't it? because this is heavy. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, I know, I know. This is stupid, know. crazy. I'm gonna slice it. Okay, so the only thing I could get. Well, let me start with. I use K slicer from the beginning, and I still use it. Today. Really? I still use it today because the only person I've ever well. talked to that still uses that. It works so well. It just works so well. But to slice this, it takes so, days, right? Yeah, it would well, take forever. No, but to change it from uh, a. a, a single piece to, in simplified, I gotta start over. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so you asked a question, which is, what slicer? So the very first slicer I used was K, uh, so KSS slicer. Yeah, KISS slicer. And, and although, obviously it ruined the, the model because it's, it's, it's intersection. Mm -hmm. However, it was the first one I ever printed and it worked. I was like, no. Look, even though it had like little yeah, errors Yeah, I was like, no, and I got it with me, I'll show it to you. I was like, no. And it turned out, and I was like, okay, now I have hope that I can print it with the right slicer. Would it be possible so, to print this with a TPU? Oh, so I have some made out of TPE. Okay. And you could like throw it on, so you yeah, like yeah, throw yeah. it on the ground, and it like bounces. And That's what I want to do. Ah, I really want to throw this on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> let me go. I mean, I'm not going yeah, to. Let me go and get the other ones. Yeah, so you yeah, all yeah. can like play with them because there's hundreds. But you keep these because I want you to. I want you. I want a reference. You need a reference. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's awesome. And you'll break this trans. No, I'll keep here's the here's the broken one that I got off the printer this morning. I went, oh, oh, she pulled, oh, uh, yeah, I pulled it off. Oh, Put it off yeah. oh it's so terrible. It's <laughs> awful. It's well, let me so go grab terrible. the other ones. I hate you. These are the best ones, but I have tons of them because it. That's awesome. I printed over 30 of them now, and each one with a tweak. So to answer your question, I used simplified 3D. Okay. And it took like 24 hours for me to separate everything into individual components. Okay. Yeah, it was bad. And, <laughs> and I thought it was going to crash. And yeah. I literally spent three months trying to get this to work because I had to sit and wait for two days for a slicer to thing. Yeah. No joke. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to use my computer to edit a video. I cannot have this thing chugging away at a slicer. Chug. So the, I have uh, access to a uh, an Origin PC with you know, 32 yeah, cores and all this stuff, but it, yeah. it doesn't help. You you my it laptop doesn't. works. You can throw it at the NetPad Cloud and see what it thinks. <laughs> I mean, I threw this out to the community. Yeah. Good. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't look like this. Yeah, that's it. But I threw it out to the community thinking there's hundreds and thousands of people doing many different things. So who can make it work better than I can? I got it to work, but there's got to be better ways. And I tried to make, mm. I tried to make custom supports. Yeah. You are the man, maybe, to make custom supports because I couldn't figure out Mesh Mixer. Because I yeah, can tell no, you... I, oh, I've only met one person who can figure out I can't mesh. figure look, it uh, out. And even me. Tree supports on FDM, like I mean, you're struggling just as hard to get this working with tree supports. Well, just I, little, I tried the uh, freeform, and it did a mm. good job, but then it put it everywhere. Well, in this yeah, thing, I, and I'm I, like, yeah, no. freeform will do it. For but it doesn't. It doesn't. Right. It goes inside and it puts them here, and then my computer <laughs> locks up, and you're like, oh, no, yeah, oh. No. you need to be able to put them in certain points. Yeah. So you gotta play with it. Yeah. I, but I spent three months getting it to this perfection. Does this shape have a, a name? It's a QSN, Quasi Crystalline Spin Network, and is what me and a Guy network. Is, it looks like yes, a network. It looks like a network. It is the network. internet. <laughs> it's, it's phi ratio based, so it's golden ratio based. Yep. Okay. And, okay. And that's between you know like these two lengths. Yep. The middle point here is the golden ratio. That's split there. The whole thing's like the, it's derived from the E8 lattice. 
crystal, which is what we base physics on E6. Okay. Mm. We, my company and I, it's not my company, but where I work, we uh, at Quantum Gravity Research, we work on this. We build quantum theory. We, this is actually space time you're looking at right here. And it is what we model our space time on. It's crazy, yeah. <laughs> and I, like I said, I'm it's not that deep into the theory. <laughs> But I saw it on my coworker's screen, which you see in the video if you watch it. And I'm like, I need to print this. I'm like, it looks printable. So I need to print it. And you can see these are missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? They're like that through the whole model. So each one of these stars has uh, top and bottom, okay. which are gone. Yeah. And I did it. that in Simplified 3D. I just deleted the ones I don't want. Right, right, right. Because they wouldn't have worked. Tag me. Make sure I know about this after I'm sobering up from this entire week. Because weekend. the challenge is, <laughs> it's gonna be a long yeah, weekend. The challenge is, how big can you make it? Yeah, I know. I and the, and the thing he makes is, big is, things. Big is not easy with this. No, it's it won't be. Your bridges it's will get huge. Of and, si and simplify 3D butchers, and I can't figure out. You know, I can't figure out how to. Like the bottom opens up, and there's nothing on the top and bottom. How do you fix that? I can't fix that. I'm doing something. It wrong. doesn't like intersecting shots. Even if you separate them out sometimes. That's what it is. <laughs> so ideally you want to fix it either with NetFab Cloud or maybe Mesh Mixer. I, I, I mean, again, I you it said, solid, but yeah. it's, a, it's like bazillions of triangles. And then you got to decimate it bazillions. again. And then you damage the surface. And then you can't get the Are you going to make it work? No, unfortunately, this is my main, my main event. So right. Let me go get the rest of these. Sounds good. Here you go. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Running four I really want to make a big one. That's what I want to do. I want to make a big one. But you know what this is going to cause now? I need to about to do this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the challenge is without dissolvable supports? Yeah, I don't have any dual extrusion machines. Oh. I don't. Dissolvable support? That's cheating. Yeah, yeah it's totally cheating. I, I totally want to do it now. <laughs> it's cheating. I have two weeks to do a print with dissolvables. I'm lazy. I print at 0.25. I don't want to go to sleep with a machine one. One day only. <laughs> Wake up, print, go to bed. Wow, what's Here, that? Like? Oh, that's, fun. that's why you put the printer in the other room. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no insulation. Angus, you know when there. you go home, you're supposed to sleep. Yeah. He's not gonna sleep for a week. Sleep is overrated. Don't worry about it. Oh, there you sleep go. is for the sleepy. So here you go. This is straight off the printer with the sports. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There you go. So you can see like, okay. what it really is. Just chucking a couple in just to hold that first layers. Just to stop it snapping off. Because yeah, yeah. because the edges are the only thing. You can print. I printed it without supporting those, these sides. Mm. But man, they start curling and the whole thing shot. Well, I think, like if I were to print this, and I, if I was to go bigger on the GMAX printer, for example, I think the the diameter of those lines would be big enough to where it wouldn't start curling. That's what it looks like on the inside. This is yeah. this is specific. I didn't want to cut all that out. Because look how hard that is to print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the it middle, wasn't a fail. You can't see it catching on anything. No, and the middle is the only thing that's solid. Everything else has just a bazillion sticks sticking out of it. Is, Here's a better. Is each line better, better one. a that's single? The, that's the, that's the third one. one I printed ever. Third one ever, and it just look how beautiful that so is. So on something like this, is okay, it's ugly. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so each line itself is <laughs> whatever is is two passes. We right? only got two perimeters. That's it. <coughs> right, but. If you can so do one, it's only it's only one time. shell. Like it's only the, one shell. The, but the hairy line still needs two, doesn't it? Um, what does it use one? You can do it with. Oh, Let's see. It did. I got all these. Hairy line is a back and forth loop. You got. Two. It did two. It does a back and forth loop. It yeah. does back and forth. So two is the minimum. I mean, um, in theory, one is possible, but a slicer to do that is um, exceedingly difficult. Now don't lose yours because yours are specific. Show these. Hide those. Go hide those somewhere now. They've been crushing my here, pocket. Here, this is what oh, happens normally. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you know that. Though. Show these. This is this is this is ABS. Yes. Yeah, this is retraction hell too. I mean, you're gonna. Oh yeah. Grind you away. need a direct drive. Here, yeah. <laughs> Show us a fun. Well, no, he's on. Track. He's on a road stock. Is it Bowden? It's Bowden by like six inches. It's so it's about this far away. It's, 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 it's got a flying extruder. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? This one looks like crap, so you get to throw it and see if you can break it. I don't think you will. 
Don't do it. Yo, throw it. Oh, throw it down. It. Hulk Wait. smash. Look at, just look at his side. Yeah. Hulk smash. Oh, like, really throw yeah. it? Hulk smash. Oh, you're it's, it's, T, it's TPE. Get behind I don't think it. think you'll break it. Oh, it's so sad. Do you think it's going to bounce? Yeah. I don't know. I've never done it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've never done it. <laughs> so that's TPE, but that one looks like crap. This one's a little bit. Okay. I don't, know if, not, I don't know if you should throw that one. No, 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 no I'm not going to throw this. That one actually looks nice. I don't like destroying art. This one's <laughs> <not> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I I do. Do it. It's not very squishy TV, it's, though. Yeah, it's that's what I was going to say. It's very... It's, it's like skateboard. This is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's that it's, um, type of rubber. It's that type of rubber. <laughs> yeah, that's, it, that's, it's, it's this is, flexible uh, and not elastic. This is uh, armadillo mm. from here. All right. You should make this into the ultimate, like, three-year fidget spinner. <laughs> That's someone else's job. My my friend from like four no. years ago, a bear he's, on he's like, make me fidget spinners, and I'm like, oh. now see what you really like, need well, to do is there. get somebody that has a metal Here, 3D Jill. printer to this print those as the ball bearings as counterweights for oh, yeah. a fidget spinner. This is the full size scale. Okay. okay. Oh, my friend who's coming like has now you're talking the one that's actually slide. half finished. Oh yeah. Okay. It's hollow. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. But the stick. The video of the good stuff. And I can't fix it. Slicer doesn't oh, help. Amazing. Slicer oh, just yeah. the slicer ruins I, this, my mouth this is a little water. Yeah. No, I do not get no, any Like if you use case slicer, really? No problem. I only get to when I make it. Yeah. I mean they all have different I mean, algorithms. Yeah, but there's a difference. Yeah, we live in New England and he lives here. This I'm is super interesting. Interesting. It depends like how it's done. Yeah. 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 Although she thinks Mexican food is rice and beans. What kind of beans? I'll fix it. I'll take like one that cooks a magic slice or something. Yeah, yeah. You can fetch models and make point custom supports. You the man. Like that's if you can do that, you can print. Anybody can print. Just time. You need a good computer. Yeah, but nobody, nobody I know has been able to do that. No, but you also can't find seafood. Good math. Every little half of them are desktop. What's up? Okay, that was the excitement. Oh, that was good, dude. Dude, I'm Joel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Russ. Hi, Russ. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Fox. Yes. <laughs> My, yeah. You, you remember a long time ago about the premium tungsten nozzles? I sent someone, you, a message about them having a Kickstarter again. I do recall that. That was me. Yeah. So well, they failed the first one. Yeah, and they got they did the second they, one. Yeah, they're doing yeah. good. They're becoming more common now. Yeah, the tungsten. Thing. I, think I like it. I've been using it for like almost one. two years, I guess, now. Mm. I mean, try it. They're, I find that you can just wipe them off with no problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I thought they were really. Awesome. That's what's good. Yeah. Yeah. You just wipe them off. Yeah, and I polish mine first. Oh, the is with some fine low, sand. Low, oh, low, that's what you're. Two hundred grit, four hundred grit sand there. Six hundred, eight hundred. If you got it, polish it. Mm. Wow. Comes in. No, I was just looking at my phone. That's what I think. This guy. Oh. Taking selfies. The ruby nozzle and the Olsen would be the same. Okay. But I wonder how that conductivity is on that. Very good. But is it is it brass or ruby? Huh? Is it brass and ruby? Yeah. See but that brass, is, even though it's not that close. But I don't know, you just have to try it. You yeah, it. the brass will be conductive, but the ruby itself is still conductive. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the the brass is going to get sticky. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's, it's a, You're not going to make the whole thing out of it. <laughs> so it's a catch. So I got a guy in Australia who makes the mm. And he can make anything. He's trying to cast one of these with an SLA printer, because that's how they make teeth. So he's going to cast this out of 24 karat gold. It's a company there. <laughs> <laughs> so we can make nozzles no, legit, with whatever that, metal that, we want. That, um, can cast like that. Really? Yeah, and they do it for they you. They do it vacuum casting. Yeah. So, yeah. Do it with the project. All the sports. Go it's hide these. Cheating. These go in your bag. All right. yeah, these sort I can't of, promise these, this one will survive. These sort will. of disappear, but those are yours to keep. Thank you so very don't, much, don't lose those. I really want to see the video you do next. Like I want to get. You know me. I got. I got to go. Like. <laughs> I know. I know. And you know that too. Oh uh, yeah, I know. That's why this is it. This is you, man. This is all you. This is your I white whale. I to be doing it this white time. <laughs> this is your white, white whale. whale. <laughs> it's gonna be till the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is gonna hey, be bad. Hey, if you can't print that, somebody, with an FDM somebody just printer, nail a gold coin to the mask. Then you're not. Call it good. <laughs> I've proven it to be achievable, and I know people are gonna struggle like What's crazy. What's the print time? Well, I ran this Joel, one pretty slow. Well, I used to try that. Just hours. be over there carving a <laughs> coffin. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, screw carving. 3D print. Just do it in pieces. But no screen. You got your retraction. Just 3D print. Do it in pieces. Your retraction temperature is pretty slow. Yeah, because these. Just 3D print like 3,000 different triangles and just glue them together. Like this is on the Gmax. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, so that's one of your best attempts. It's as big as Epcot!
And mathematically correct. <laughs> <laughs> the setting. Every single one of these I printed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna do this first. Hey, by the way, congratulations. On. And you almost there. On. 100K. I'm only at 40. Over here. Oh wait, this one first. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hold that thing <laughs> up. <laughs> you can't hold yeah, that up okay. and that. There you go, I'll do both. Right past there. Yeah, yeah, hey, just thanks for it. filming. No problem. Are you a YouTuber? Uh, Technically, what is your YouTube channel? Um, uh, stupid Freaking Buttons. Okay, yeah. Stupid Freaking Buttons. Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> I gotta find everyone. I don't know, half these people. Wow, what a blast. I had so much fun. Got to thank the Matter Hackers for putting this event on, and Angus from Maker's Muse for being there, and Joe Telling from 3D Printing Nerd, and a whole bunch of people that are YouTubers that I don't even know. So thank you for uh, allowing me to present this crazy thing, and I got the response I was looking for. It's pretty wild. So enjoy. God bless. Have a good one.